My promise to the animals is this. You have all of me. The lioness in the circus, I see you. The pig in the sow stall, I see you. The mouse in the medical experimentation facility, I see you. The fish crushed at the bottom of a trawler net, I see you. I know you're suffering and I will never be silent. I will push forward no matter what life throws my way because the cruelties inflicted on you must end. The Honourable Emma Hurst of the New South Wales Legislative Council and the Australian Animal Justice Party is committed to representing the best interests of the animals. Supreme Master Ching Hai joyfully present the Honorable Emma Hurst the Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion. With all love, a big hug, and best wishes in heaven's grace, may you and all your supporters forever be in God's favor. Emma Hurst, Unequivocal Voice for the Animals, Part 2 of 2. Continue watching to find out more. The Honorable Emma Hurst is a member of the Australian state of New South Wales Legislative Council, where she uses this platform to tirelessly campaign for animal protection, animal rights and animal protection laws. She is a member of the Australian Animal Justice Party and has worked in various animal advocacy roles that included campaigning, political lobbying and media outreach. She is also a long-time vegan and registered psychologist as well as a Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion Laureate. Once elected to Parliament, the Honourable Emma Hurst presented a powerful inaugural speech that has been applauded by people around the world. My promise to the animals is this. You have all of me. The lioness in the circus, I see you. The pig in the sow stall, I see you. The mouse in the medical experimentation facility, I see you. The fish crushed at the bottom of a trawler net, I see you. I know you're suffering and I will never be silent. I will push forward no matter what life throws my way because the cruelties inflicted on you must end and I'll do all I can to see that happen. No matter if you are skin, scales, fur or feathers, no matter the supposed value of your financial worth or lack thereof, native or non-native, rodent or fish or cow or dog, I will protect you. I stand by you. I will fiercely defend you. And it is our party that will keep that promise and we will never, ever let you down. You have all of me. Thank you. Ms. Hurst's inaugural speech has touched many people's hearts and has inspired audiences worldwide to be courageous and motivated to march on the path of compassion and veganism. We've just had a massive amount of really positive feedback internationally as well. Um, I think it got a lot of international attention because um, it provided people with a lot of hope to sort of hear that being spoken um, and to hear the issues of animal protection being spoken so openly in the very place where animal laws are, are made. Um, so I think that motivated a lot of people in the US and the UK um, and all around the world. Um, I had quite a few MPs approach me afterwards saying I had no idea that chicks were macerated in the egg industry or I had heard that um, pigs were in cages but, you know, it's not front of mind for me. Um, so you've really started to get me to think. And a few people even came up and said, oh, I'm starting to reconsider what I eat and should I be changing to a vegan diet? I think that that's a really 
good sign, a good indication that people from the left and the right will listen um, to this message about animal protection. We as a society are ultimately responsible for the ways in which we treat all cohabitants. And from listening to Ms. Hurst's speeches, it is exceedingly clear that we must completely reform the way we treat animals. To that end, Emma is a proponent of transparency within the animal industries. I think that we need to have transparency so that people can make up their own mind about whether or not they want to support these industries. At the moment, everything is so hidden. Um, and what we're hearing in the media is, oh, these people aren't breaking the law, they're running lawful businesses. But what most people aren't considering within that statement is that, you know, we've got millions of hens being confined in cages, we've got pigs in cages, um, you know, we've got chickens living in squalid conditions, um, inside sheds with no, no sun, sunlight, um, with piled up faeces burning through their feathers and through their skin. Um, and when we hide that from consumers, from the general public, we're actually stopping them from being able to make up their own mind um, and stand up and speak out against this. Um, Australians really love animals and they don't stand, you know, for animal cruelty. They, they're very um, intolerant of, of any act of animal cruelty. Um, and I think that if we open the doors and we show the world what's happening, we're going to see some really big changes. Animal-loving viewers, let's take a short pause. We'll be right back. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our show. As a member of parliament in New South Wales, Australia, Ms. Hurst uses social media to keep members of the public up to date with ongoing campaigns and work. She recently shared how a pig farmer contacted her in order to express that he had had a huge change of heart, stating, the older I get, the increasingly more difficult I find it to deprive another being of life. We asked her to share more about this uplifting story. So I did um, a quite a long interview with Radio National where we went into quite a lot of detail, um, which was another interesting audience because Radio National is not, you know, your vegans, vegetarians um, or your left-leaning, um, you know, voters even. Um, and yet there was a really positive response to the story. And one of those positive responses was somebody who said, look, I have been farming pigs, but, um, you know, I really enjoyed the interview because, you know, it resonated with what I'm feeling is that, you know, I don't feel comfortable with depriving these animals of their life and I don't think I can continue in this industry. And this isn't the only positive story that Miss Hurst has heard. It seems that more and more people are waking up to how cruel and miserable the treatment of animals is across many industries. And I think we're seeing more and more of these cases. I've also met a lot of people in the animal rights movement that have said that previously that they were hunters and they used to hunt animals um, and now they're vegan animal rights activists and I think all of these stories are just so heartwarming because it reminds us that everybody has the capacity and the ability to change um, we sometimes think oh they're too far gone or people tell us look not you know you're never going to get everybody to go vegan or those people are never going to change their mind um, but the fact that we're seeing farmers and hunters and um, people who identified that way changing their minds, changing their behaviours um, and changing the way they, they eat. Um, it shows that maybe, you know, what we're aiming for isn't, isn't that, you know, isn't that far off. 
and the more Miss Hurst speaks candidly about the plight of animals everywhere, the more people are sitting up and taking notice, even those who seem unlikely to do so. Of people who have contacted me saying, "Look, I'm very conservative. I'm very right wing," um, uh, but you know, just listening to some of the things you've said, I've really started to think about um, what's happening, um, particularly within intensive farming and the practices within intensive farming. Um, so I've had quite a few situations like that where where people have felt comfortable and confident to to come forward and ask more questions. I mean, I think that was really important just to have those conversations and to have, you know, that open door policy to say, look, you know, I'm willing to come to the table, willing to talk to you about any of these issues and being able to, you know, really bring the public along with us. Um, you know, there's a lot of changes that need to be made in, in the animal protection movement. Um, and a lot of people are just unaware of, of what's actually happening in this country. So every step's needed. Thank you, Emma Hurst. We couldn't agree more. We earnestly appreciate your tireless efforts in campaigning for the animals in order to bring them the respect, kindness, dignity and legislative rights that they deserve. Supreme Master Ching Hai joyfully present the Honorable Emma Hurst, the Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion, with all love, a big hug and best wishes in heaven's grace. May you and all your supporters forever be in God's favor. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for Hare's compassion and love towards Hare's precious children. To learn more about Emma Hurst, please visit emmahurstmp.com. To learn more about Animal Justice Party, please visit animaljusticeparty.org.